Welcome to my unboxing of the Thunder Shield series uninterruptible power supply from OptiUPS. We in particular have the 2250, so this is the 1200 watt. Yes, absorb that, you guys. 1200 watt UPS from this particular line, and what is it for? Okay, emergency backup for home and offices offering unto cost protection at the best value. It actually isn't that expensive compared to their uh, was their durable series one that we looked at before. Uh, so this is more for home and office use, whereas the other one for suggested uses had things like uh, medical equipment. So that should give you some idea of the class of product. This is more uh, consumer and small business, whereas the other one is more big business friendly. The other one had advanced features like being able to hook up an external battery for you know hours of on time, whereas this doesn't really have that kind of thing. Okay, ideal solution for multiple applications, PC and Mac workstations, network gateways, security surveillance and video recorders, POS systems and ATM machines. So stuff that can't go down, but if it does go down, people don't die. Uh, okay, TS series offers user-friendly installation and peace of mind operation. Okay, wide range AVR, automatic voltage regulator. This is good because it will actually keep your parts lasting longer. Electrical noise filtration, protection from electrical surges, spikes, and lightning. Remote control of connected equipment and energy savings functions. Advanced battery management. Okay, so all this is pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. UPSs are heavy. Um, this one is heavy. I usually have trouble getting them out of the box. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to turn off the camera while I try and get it extracted. So, uh, oh, look at that. Helpfully labeled rear and front. After we have a look at the packaging using a nice, thick, soft foam, which is excellent and good to see, especially because these things are so heavy that when you ship them around, it would be a disaster if they, uh, you know, broke the foam inside and, like, knocked around and destroyed themselves. Okay, it comes with a nice thick power cord and uh, let's have a look at the other accessories really quick here. Comes with a USB cable. So again, this is another difference between that more commercial industrial model that came with a serial cable and uh, didn't even work without an optional software download with USB. Like it was, yeah, it was meant for serial. Whereas this one doesn't even come with a serial cable. This is a more consumer oriented model. It also comes with a phone cord. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, no, no, I'm just, I'm just making, I'm just saying that. Uh, it is useful. The reason the phone cord is useful is because it actually will prevent power surges from frying your phone, in theory. Power does actually go through the phone line. So there you go. All right, UPS monitoring software, Sentinel Revision V1.5 works with any OS pretty much like ever on the Windows platform. Okay, cool. All right. And yeah, oh, that's heavy, okay. All right, this one is also more consumer friendly looking. So it has uh, actually, oh yeah, the other one, the other one's here. So instead of looking like a piece of equipment from the 80s, uh, I'm not gonna be able to move this. So I'm just gonna kind of turn it. There you go. It looks like uh, more like sleek, you know, the kind of thing that you could have next to your gaming rig that wouldn't look that out of place sort of sort of look to it. Okay, so there's your power button, there's your indicator LED. This one doesn't have a front display. However, you can use the software to monitor a variety of the features. Here is a brief instructional guide on how to do a variety of things, including how to turn it on, which is critical. If you can't figure out how to turn it on, then you won't have much success using this product. Also, unlike the industrial level product, it does doesn't have a cooling fan, which again makes it more suitable for home use because let me tell you, the cooling fan on the Durable Series 1 is pretty loud, more at place in a server room than in an office. So here's our input, here is our UPS output. So you've got up to four things that you can plug in. So you know, there's your computer, your monitor, your, I don't know, fax machine and your, you know, um, like iPhone charger. Now you probably don't need to charge your iPhone. Doesn't matter if the power goes out, your iPhone can just stop charging, it's okay. Remember guys, the point of a UPS is like lightning strikes or you know something explodes, the power goes out, something bad happens and there's some kind of a surge or some kind of damage that can be done to the equipment on the other side. This guy takes care of that. So as soon as something bad happens, A, it is 
Keeping the voltages constant, which is better on your equipment, it is less stressful on the power supplies in your equipment, whether it's a computer power supply or whether it's like a passive power supply, doesn't matter. It's less stressful to have a constant healthy voltage being fed to it, and it also serves to switch to battery backup in the event that something goes terribly wrong, which will keep things from shutting down without, uh, without correctly shutting down, without closing all your software, saving all your work. This kind of stuff can save your bacon. So there's your USB port. Oh, UPS output. That's sort of interesting. Does it have five or... I'm not sure what the difference is between this UPS output and this UPS output, but um, there you go. Okay, so RJ45 slash RJ, RJ11 in and out, so you can either power surge protect your Ethernet or your um, phone line, but I don't really see any reason why you would want to surge protect Ethernet unless... Um, yeah, I can't really think of a reason for that. So the phone line is probably the more relevant one. And I think that pretty much covers it. Don't forget, guys. Lots of things can go wrong, especially when the power goes out, whether you're flashing a BIOS, you know, updating any particular firmware. You should always be plugged into a UPS because it'll buy you at least a few minutes. You know, even five minutes can be the difference between finishing flashing a BIOS and just having one flake out on you. Slick and I, each, I even had the power go out here in the Tech Tips room when we were flashing a BIOS once. And the only reason, I don't know if that board's handy or anything, but the only reason that board didn't brick was because it had a dual BIOS feature that had a hardware switch. We were able to just switch over to the other BIOS and flash that one once the power came back on. So UPS is can save your bacon. I am a huge advocate and they are as valuable as they are heavy. And they are very heavy. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Opti UPS 2250B Thunder Shield series. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.